Glory to God. All these praises are for the Lord Almighty. Yes. Yes. We are brothers and we are sisters. Yes. To God be the glory. I want to pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for tonight. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your presence. Out of you, we are nothing. Jesus, your presence is here. Thank you for your healings. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for the power and protection tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for life transforming. Thank you, Jesus. We put everything in your hands. You know the best. We thank you and you are welcome in our midst. Give life tonight. Give joy, peace. Reconcile families. Heal broken hearts. Jesus, thank you for your fire tonight. Thank you for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Tonight, somebody is going to receive a fresh touch. Amen. By the Holy Spirit. Yes, a fresh touch by the Holy Spirit. Yes. We are going to go ahead to have the time. Tonight, we are going to speak about the Holy Spirit and power. This is the topic, this is the title of the message. By the grace of God, we are going to bring it in 30 minutes, and after that, we are going to pray. Holy Spirit and power. Spirit and power. Our reading starts in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38. Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38. The Bible says in that passage, in that area, do you know how God has anointed Jesus with the spirit and power and it goes everywhere, healing the sick, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and doing good things. As we are believers, the Bible says the day we turn our life to Jesus Christ in the book of Ephesians 1, verse 30, you already have the spirit of God in you. The day you are born again, the day you confess Jesus Christ as a savior, that day, the Holy Spirit came into you and you have the Spirit of the Lord. And you need to continually be filled. But this is the different area. People always stop in the realm to be filled with the Spirit, but they don't move in power. Many are filled with the Spirit. But when it comes for the power, this is questions for believers. Because it is the Spirit of God who gives the power. If you take the book of Matthew 3, 11, the Bible says, I am baptizing you in water. John says this. But the one who comes after me will baptize you in the Holy Spirit with fire. Yes, in the Holy Spirit with fire. Then, the, when, the, when we are baptized with the Holy Spirit, we speak in tongue. We can preach the message. We are, we, we, we are wise. We can even go do something mystically, you know, like uh, Moses impart the anointing onto two people and they knew how to make things for the, into the house. They became wise. But the power, to receive the power, then we are going to reveal it. Why people cannot take the power? Why believers for today that have not arrived to have the power? Because the world is waiting for the power. Come on. Come on. It is the power. 
who can heal the sick, the power makes the miracles, it is the power that master. But why believers, where are the believers who have the power to work? You know, if you take the book of Acts of Apostles, Paul and Silas, they enter into the city, and then they grab a, a cow, and they said, you, you are no man, you are idols, taking flesh. And they said, no, we are men. Because the, the city were amazed by the power. Why? The power does not work today in believers' life. You know, when we, are, we, are, we have three dimensions. Spirit, soul, and body. The spirit is sanctified the day you are born again. Your spirit is sanctified. Your spirit will never gonna die. Your spirit is renewed. But now... The problem is in the soul. This is the problem. People cannot go up. Because our soul, it is in the soul that we have emotions, fear, doubt. It is in the soul. And then, how to, how, how to dominate the soul? We need to let the word of God influence us. The word needs to influence the soul. The word, it is only the word who is the med medication for the soul. The word. But at, at that time, how to read the word? It is diff different. To read the word is different than to meditate. If you want to see the power moving, you need to take the Bible and go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. The Bible says what? The Bible says, you have your faith revealed when you open the Bible. The Bible says, let watch into the Bible. You are going to see Jesus Christ into the Bible when you read the word. And as soon as you are still looking at the word, you are still meditating in the word, you are transformed. You are, be, you are transformed. As soon as you are still looking at the word, you are transformed. You are transformed from glory to glory. That means what Jesus Christ is, is contaminating you. Jesus Christ's nature, his healing power, his power in his hands, his, his power, his spirit is coming part of you. You are taking this nature. You are taking this nature. You are taking this nature. And the Bible says, is it continually? And you are changing from glory to glory. From glory to glory. And the Bible says, like the same image in the spirit, has the way he is, has the way you will be. This is the way to infect you. The word, that's what, the, from now. From now. Nowadays, certain has engaged a battle against the Christian. And the Bible, the word of God became like stories to believers' lives. They don't like the Bible at all. It is the, your soul. It, it, it contains emotions. Emotions. We, if we pray without the word, we pray in emotions. If our soul the word that not penetrating us and chase our inner, inner person. We are going to pray with doubt and fear. And the problem will still remain. Because we are not transforming this in the inside. Let us read a, a verse in the book of Psalm. Psalm 138 verse 2nd. Please somebody can read it for me. Psalm 138 Yes. Yes. Take it again. Yes. The word of God. The word need to influence us. The word of God. You know, we are more of ourselves. People are really more of ourselves. I usually say, we, we have a calendar and we are working in the calendar and we, did, we do not care if God wants it or not. That's why we are always limited by the speaking in tongue without power. Because we need to we, we need to let ourselves be transformed into the word. Let the word take part of us. Yes, let the word 
Change our nature. Change our sight. Change our understanding. This is the power. Because the Bible says in the book of John 6, 63, the word I have spoken to you is spirit and power. The word I have spoken to you is spirit and power. Then, let me read Psalm 138, verse second, verse 2. Yes, thank you. I will bow down to the, towards your holy temple and give you thanks to your name for your loving kindness is true and for you have manifested or magnified your name according to all uh, your word according to your name. Yeah. My version says God has magnified his words above all names. What this does this mean? That means if you don't have the word in you and you are calling the name <laughs> you are wasting your time. You are calling Jesus' name, Jesus' name, and the word is not into you. The word is not in an, an integral part of you, and you are calling the name of Jesus. It looks like you are calling your brother. This is what I'm saying. The word needs to affect us, affect us. That's why in the book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse one to four, God said to Ezekiel, "I want to to go preach to my people." And release signs and wonders. And Ezekiel said what? I'm ready to go. And God said, take my word and eat it. And Ezekiel took the word. The word seems very powerful in his mouth. But when the word entered into him, wow! It was really hard. That's why people are struggling. Because the word has not yet changed their life. If the word does not change their life, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you won't have joy, peace at all. If the word, if the word of God does not change your life, you will still pray and remain the same. I'm telling you. That way there are some things you need to get down. Look, for example, if you pick up the Bible in the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 19, the Bible is telling us about how this is not demons, this is ourselves. Galatians 5, 19. It says, this is the work of the, of the flesh. It is adultery, fornications. This is not demons yet. Demons will, may, may come after that thing. But this is the flesh. Adultery, ambi, fornication. Yes, you can count. Calm down. These are not demons. It is the flesh. And the Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus, in Galatians 5, 24, they need to crucify the flesh on the cross. That's why people that don't want to obey this and they want to see power. Behind the power, there is a price to pay. There is a price to pay. There is a price to pay. There is a power. There is a price to pay. And this price is to die yourself. To die. You need to die. Amen. You need to die. I remember. I'm telling this story 18 years ago, until now I'm preaching the gospel by the grace of God. 18 years ago. Until now. I have faced some difficulties like temptation, but nobody in this world can say, no lady in this world, girl or wife, can say, I have went to him to her in bed. Nobody. Except my wife, I'm married. Nobody in this world, those who die or those who are still alive, girls or women, they don't want to lose the power. There's a price to pay. There is a price to pay to receive the power. That we need to let the word penetrate in us. So we, we, we need to be less of ourselves. So get, God can take control. And then when you are in the name of Jesus. He said, in the name of Jesus Christ, something is coming out. You know you are carrying something. You, you have something in you. And this thing is pushing you. And it says you, you are right. Go. Something going to happen. Yes. We need to die to ourselves. We need to die to ourselves. To see power. If you refuse that, we are going to speak in tongue. But we won't see power. 
Yes. Let, let's see. We, we are going to see one another more things. In the book of Matthew 13. Let's read in verse 22. Matthew 13, verse 22. And we are going to come back in, in our message. Matthew 13, 22. If you are a man that you want power, you are a woman, you want power. Tonight you're going to receive a touch. And you receive the power. And, and I wish you can still go home and culti cultivate a life of power. Yes, you can cultivate the life of power. After you receive the touch, you receive the power. But you carry it home. Don't change the way to live. Cultivate a life of power. Demons will fear and, free, uh, and run away. Demons, every powers of the darkness will fear and run away. Yes. Matthew 13, 13 22. What does the Bible say there? Men of God. And he who received the seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and the um, cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and it become unfruitful. Yes. Do we hear? The Bible, the Bible says us. The one who received the word of God among the thorns is the one who received the word of God. You know, you need to go through this and come to the fourth level, who is the level to have fruit 30, 70, and 100. But in the third level, the one who received the word on the phone, the Bible says, this person who received the word, and he grew up, but when it arrived the time for him to bear fruit and to be fruitful, the desire of this world chuck, chuck him. The needs of this world just oppress him and he died. You know, the, the world is oppressing the people. People are really excited for the world. And the world is oppressing them. And then they are staying without power. This is what the Bible says in Matthew. The world. We are in the world like competition. And everything we are going, we are pray God to bless the believers. We cannot say everything in one day. I pray God to bless you and to give you, what you whatever you need. But we are not in competition. We need to have more God. We need to have more God. That's why the world stops many people. The, the world, they stop them by the world of nice cars, the world of nice houses, the world of many things. Stop them. And they are like they die. Because of the war. Look at the Bible says in the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. It says, Don't love the world and everything that is in the world. Because the one who loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Because the world has lost other desires, he is telling in these scriptures. But the thing that makes the believer stop is because of the love of the world. The love of the world is talking, talking, talking people, talking people. We are burning for the world, not burning for God. That's why, why the, the power is not. Look, actually, look at when we start to pray. The world has stopped us some things, and it is difficult for God to remove them out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the world. The world has taught us something. And it is difficult for the word of God to bring them out. When we start to pray, we are going to act, ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh. No! You cannot pray this and receive power. After receiving power, you can pray like this. But in the beginning, you need to pray, 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 pray. But the world said to you, you need to be a gentleman. Yes. You to, you to be a gentleman, so kind, speak nicely. Yes. Even to cough. This is what the world taught people. Yes. This, this is what, but I'm telling you, if you see a miracle happen, don't ask the way it was prayed. 
when you see a miracle happening, if this miracle happens simply, how does this man of God behind this miracle tell me how you pray? He will tell you. Tell him, ask him how you prayed. Ask, how, ask him how you prayed. We know prayer. Pray. That's sometimes I'm lazy. The way people pray, I, 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 you know, if you, you want to start praying, they will stop. And your, your, your fire is burning in you. I want to pray to, to, to be really long. Jesus Christ said to his disciple, you took one hour to pray. This is laziness prayer. <laughs> yes. You took one hour to pray. This is lazy. We, we are from Africa. In, in our church, to, to pray, to, to preach the gospel, sometimes we may take 45 minutes to pray, to prepare, to prepare the, the, the word of God, to preach. 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. To prepare the word of God. But we are more of ourselves. And without ourselves, we want to see power. We need to come out of the way we are thinking. The world has taught us things, but not right. We need to come back to the world and let the word of God influence us. Let the word influence enter into you. And change your habit. Change the way you are thinking. Change the way you, 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 you say things is. Things you know that this way. Things you need to stay and pray. Pray, 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 pray. And did the fire come? When you pray, when you pray, and when the power comes, you know that the power is here. You know, you know. And today we are going to pray. We are going to pray and pray for you guys. Yes, the only thing is that we do not we do not know how to let down the world. I'm telling you, whatever whoever we are, we are going to leave this world. But we need to leave this world with many riches, many riches. We need to bring a lot of souls to the kingdom of God. This is this is to be rich in the kingdom of God. This is to be rich. To be rich in the kingdom of God, you need to bring many people. Yes. Go preach the gospel. It is very shame for the church. Very shame. We are saved. We are in the church singing, dancing, singing, dancing. But those who are outside of the building, we need to work in union in the church and go and look for them by prayer. We need to go look for them by prayer. Do not, I know that we don't have any that uh, we need to stop at what time? Okay, then they will say Jesus was anointed. Jesus Christ was anointed with spirit and power. Tonight, if you have the spirit, we will not receive the power. Yes. If you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, you will not receive the spirit and receive the power. But I'm going to, t- to tell you, the power is easy to receive. But difficult to maintain. Yes. Easy to receive the power, but difficult to maintain. Difficult. Very easy. Very easy to receive the power. But to maintain the power, it, it requires to you a lifestyle. It requires to you a lifestyle. To go closer to God. Yes. Closer to God every day. You wake up, the Holy Spirit will say to you, Don't go there. Stay here. And you say, God, but I want you to go. God said, No. Stay wherever you are. You stay there for a while. Somebody will come to you. I am sick. Can you pray for me? You pray for him. This is what way, the way you can grow. But we are making calendars, plans, and we do not check God. We are making things in our life, going, moving alone, and after that we are depressed. We are in fear because we are more of ourselves, more of ourselves. That's what we need. The Bible says in the book of Romans 14, "Let us live. We live or we die. Let it be in the Lord. Let give God permission to go into your calendar." It is the way he's going to change your life. The situation you are, de- you are dealing with, it is the situation God is going to change. The situation 
situation you are dealing with, this is not a situation. God is going to change the situation. Look at something. The miracle is very powerful. Very powerful. But you first. God wants you first. To see your life change. Yes. God wants to see your life change. As you more of yourself or you, you the, the word of God has penetrated in you. When you say Jesus, Jesus, you should, you should see something. You should see the word subtending your voice. Jesus, Jesus, you see the voice, the word subtending your calling. Yes, you see it. You see it. You see, Jesus, Jesus, you see something coming out. It, it bubbles up like this. La, 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 la. <laughs> yes. I said, Jesus. He said, I'm here. Yes. Yeah. When you have a word, he said, I'm here. And then you are moving. And the Bible says, if God is with you, who can be against you? Oh, who can be against you? Yeah. Who can be against you? The, 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 real, the real protection is to stay in the hands of God. Yeah. The real peace, the real wealth, the real joy is to stay in the protection of the Lord. Yeah. Psalm 91. The real protection, the real security, the real life and the good life is to stay in God's hands. Yes, this is a real protection. Out of that, we are losing our time. I'm telling you, out of that, we are losing our time. You know, in the book of Jeremiah 10, 23, God says, Has even we are walking, we don't know what is happening in our foot. God says, He is the one who should secure our foot. Yes, Jeremiah 10, 23. God says, When we pick up our foot and we temple like this, God says, as we have his word, every footprint, he is the one who secure it. Even you are not the president, but God secure. God care about you. Yes, you are not a king, but God care about you. Yeah, you are king in Jesus, but I'm speaking me about worldly kings. God care about you. Jeremiah 10, 23. The real security, the real peace for you to not face anxiety, depression, is to stay in the Lord. Is to stay in the Lord. Give yourself to the Lord and die yourself and give yourself to live in yourself. In the book of Galatians, Galatians 2, 20, 20, 20, Paul says, I'm no more living. I stop living. Jesus, you live in me. I stop living. We are more of ourselves. We are more of ourselves. When I was praying in the room, God says to me, speak to these men, these people. The next movement at the revival want to start in their midst. When I was praying in the room, tell them the, the revival. There is a movement of revival that God wants to use some people here to, to start the movement. family or everything for the kingdom of God. He's going to receive hundred times in this world. And will also receive it in the generation to come. People of God, don't let the world pull us to him. Bible says in the book of 1 John 2, 15, this is to be, to, to engage a war against God. We, live, we, we, we are in the world. Yes, we need to live, have clothes, but not our desire. Our desire. We should not follow the God with our desire. We need to pull the world to Jesus. 
Forgiveness. By the Holy Spirit and by power. By the Holy Spirit and by power. Tonight, you want to pray like a child. I want you to pray like a child. Don't, if, if you are older, if you are younger, don't look at who you are. You need to shout like Bartelemiah. Bartelemiah shout at the Spirit cry to Jesus. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Yes, this is the one who is desperately, he want God. Yes. You want God. And then you won't let your body take control because the world taught you that you need to be nice. No, you are in the house of your father. Yes. The kids in the father's house, they, they, they mix everything. I have three kids. They mix everything every time. And I said the things, they mix them. Today, we are going, going to pray and mix the case. Yes. We're going to pray. Pray like crazy. Pray like crazy. Pray like crazy. You are going to pray until the fire comes to you. And you're, you're going to change your family. Change your nations. You're going to pray. I'm, 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 I'm. You know, sometimes, if you see God's using peoples, it's those who die in themselves. They say, God, I am nothing. I, I am nothing out of you. The way he's going to pray, you will see a child in this man or in this woman. That's why when David was dancing, he's a king. David dancing. David was dancing. And Micah, Micah said, oh, look at the king. How is he dancing? How is he dancing? How is he dancing? Oh, shame on the king. David didn't know. God hears. God knew. God said, okay, you are, you're going to be a baron. I'm telling you. The kingdom of God, we need to be like kids in the Luke, book of Luke 18. We need to be like kids and pray, 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 pray. The spirit and the power. Many people are filled with the spirit here. As I'm preaching, I'm seeing, I'm seeing people. Many people are filled with the spirit. Many are tied by the religions. Spirit of religion. I'm telling you, the, the only there are some people they have contributed very less for the church. I call them the, the, the theologians. The yes, the theologians. They, they have contributed very less <laughs> <laughs> for the church. I'm telling you. That's what nowadays, if you are preaching the word of God. People may try to hear you with the hear of the theologian. The theologian hear, hear. That's why in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 39, Jesus Christ said to the theologians, you have your Bibles, and you are reading your Bibles, and you never come to me. But your, your Bible is telling you about me. In John 5, 39, <laughs> Some people, some people who hold the Bible and speaking in the name of, of God and they never come to God. Come John 5, 39. Who says you that the kingdom of God is just speaking? In, in 1 Corinthians 4, 20, it says the kingdom of God is not by speaking, but power to demonstrate. And we spend our time to speak, speaking, 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 and make a lot of big, big books and study with us. Sometimes we lost. Sometimes they bring confusion, discussion. That, this is the spirit of religions. Discussion and confusion. Discussion, confusion, debating. My brother, let not discuss again. Let us demonstrate powers. Come on. Yes. Yes. We're gonna begin to we're gonna begin to pray, uh, but here's what I'd like to do. I would like everyone to stand up. I would like to get rid of this first row here.